what's up guys this is the road from and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as the united states of america and in this episode um well we are picking up where we left off and that we are destroying the brits in the northeast we are invading british colonial territories in the caribbean and we are taking the taking the war to our enemies at sea so now i want to try and slowly tighten the noose on these british troops in the north because these two armies could be ripe for the invasion of um, first Iceland, and then potentially the British Isles itself. Um, right now we are consolidating our hold in North America. I want to grow my navy to raid more of these um, Austrian ports, but I would also like to uh, build another force to invade Cagliari and take it away from the British. And there's also the sticky question of invading India. We have lots and lots and lots of calls on our um, budget, and I think it may partially be fixed by invading South America, potentially. Um, what's our relationship like with Gran Colombia? They are indifferent. They are allied with Mexico and Russia. Russia is indifferent to us. France is unfriendly with us. We are still allied with them, but I want to very much to wait till they break the alliance before this force deploys and does anything. Apart from that, let's hit enter because we have no money. My spies are on the march. I need to build. I need to build more tier one fleets. I mean, that's not bad. Newfoundland for New Mexico and 17 grand. That's pretty good. But I'm still going to say no because I refuse to give up any part of my territory and it's absolutely needed. Uh, nope. Britain's lost to Sweden. I think that's a, oh, that's a Royal Navy force that's been picked up out of Jamaica. They're going to deploy somewhere. It could cause problems, actually, because I'm not got a guard army in position in the main on the mainland so that's something we'll want to rectify in this episode it's so always like to try and have i mean obviously when when it's possible have a couple of armies that are just sat there as um emergency response groups if you like their job is to sit there, wait for an enemy invasion, because it will happen. It's very difficult to directly stop an invasion, but it's quite you can get quite efficient at responding to one um, if you set your empire up appropriately. Norwegian fleet is growing. So I didn't see where that British fleet went. That's part of the problem. Okay, first of all, let's make sure I do a bit of bit of housekeeping and say, right, here in the Grand Bahamas, we're going to keep reinforcing and recruiting. We do have some British troops to deal with, but we're not worrying about them yet. We are plugging our gaps. Nathaniel Wallace, you were going to go engage. I mean, that you, you that is real overkill for them. You may start raiding off of the British coast. Put into Waterford. Put into Bristol. Liverpool. Glasgow, Belfast, then back to Waterford again. Trade with Russia is blockaded, trade with Sweden is blockaded. Yes, you're looking for possible <gasps> a Royal Navy fleet, a big one. Plenty of third rate ships. 
see if there are any freebies that we can get first. No, no freebies. They are all taken. I mean, we can definitely take it. it. Might take a bit of a pummeling, but we can get it. Elliot Richardson. Let's go get them. Elliot Richardson versus Emmett Gascoigne. Then once we secure this, we can send a trade fleet over, send this fleet back to America to be repaired and reinforced. And then that starts to kick off our trading empire. Second, second, second. Good. Something like this, even though typically I always end up breaking it. Breaking the formation up. Resistance, Essex, Venerable, Culloden, Phoenix, Admiral Piet Hein, Vigo, Ocean, Illustrious, Warspite, some brilliant ship names here. Against Boston, Rose, Montgomery, Dunkirk, Comet, Intrepid, George Washington. So we may cut their fleet in half. Although not now. Now I've re uh, maneuvered my line. I think we are going to get ahead of them. But even if we don't, we'll cut them in. We'll cut their fleet in half. Um, resistance will be stuck on the far side of our fleet. So Essex at that broadside. So Essex is going to eat another one from Boston. Ludden's at a broadside from Arathusa. So resistance, I think resistance is already fired. Boston start to use chain to clear the decks off, of, clear the mast off of Essex. You're gonna have to hold sail while resistance gets ahead of us. After that, though, put the pedal to the metal. Then let's take the back half of the fleet like what I normally do, push them along like so. There we go, Boston's going to put some shots into resistance and mass. Take out our main mast as well. Make sure these ships are all sailing at full speed. I mean, you need to turn. You need to turn to face what's going on ahead of you, really. firing chain Phoenix is under fire Vigo is pushing in the chain shot into Kaladin lost the 
come in and Okay, actually we can turn now and start to try and keep pummeling shots into resistance. You're gonna turn so you can get your one battery firing into this mess, another battery into the into another. Actually no, keep firing chain. Now you've got heavy frigate showing up. That'll be a good opportunity to knock their masts down. Resistance is routing. Well, it was routing. Right now you're just too in the thick of it to do anything else. Sail into Venerable. I mean, Boston's isolated, so that's to be expected. You're now on fire. Fire broadside. Right. Fire broadside. Fire broadside left, then fire broadside right. Right into the mast of Ocean. Ship has returned from the engagement. There we go. Vigo's lost a mast. You on fire anymore? Still, yes. Not quite the target you wanted, but Essex is right there. You're gonna have to just turn and keep firing round shots. Right now you're just a bit stuck. Fire at will. You're still on fire. Oh, they're all still f sailing in at half mast. by a chain just because her she's a bit of a nippy vessel Essex has surrendered Lord Washington to chase her down again you're engaging Vigo blast him not firing at will starboard batteries ready to rock and roll starboard battery broadside the wasp by sails
There we go. Okay, best speed to catch vulner vulnerable. Ego surrendered and they're on fire, so let's get you out of there. by a round shot into illustrious Boston is chasing after Venerable uh, Venerable has lost her mainmast so she's in a bad shape and Boston has her and she's not working her chase guns so face. There we go. Ocean's in a bit of a crossfire, although I expect there's a bit of fratricide going on. to knock out some more masts. Ryan's pummel there at close range. There goes the mizzen. Fire as she burns. Yes, your sails are shredded. You've surrendered. Excellent. case of bombarding war spite. Because everybody else has surrendered. Last ship remaining. That's right, brother boy. Keep on. There we go. The fleet is ours. Excellent. All of the heavy ships will be commandeered and sent back to the United States. Yes, yes, yes. No. Although I suppose in theory we could, we could take the lot. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Take the lot. Yes. You men sit on the top. So then, get out to the East Indies. Officer on deck. Aye, sir. Where are these two fellows going? Okay, right. Get Louisburg to work on three admirals' flagship first rates, and then we can put them out here and then start mass recruiting a new fleet. Actually, that's the only place we can build a heavy fleet until we get steam engine. 
to upgrade the Steam Dry Dock. Because down... Well, we could upgrade one in Santo Domingo when we get it. Okay, tuners, keep on upgrading our infrastructure. We are a prosperous people. Okay, fourth rate and a fifth rate. They shall sleep with the oh God! <laughs> Retreat. <laughs> I did, did not see them there. Ships orders. Okay, you need to be careful how you creep back now. Oh, if I knew they were there, I'd have engaged them in a fleet action. I suppose they can't... Well, they can't necessarily get to where they want to get to, can they? Uh, uh, 4,912. Engage Murphy Blakemore. We need to... Run his fleet, in, run his army into the ground. Now free up, free up these two armies to land in Iceland, then land on the British Isles and start to bring war to the British homeland. Then we can use the British Isles as a a centre of ship production excellence and blockade the Austrian coast. enemy has a very militia heavy force so we will engage on the offensive we will sweep them from the field capture the ground and march over their dead bodies keep my long rifleman on the right excellent General with Field Marshal of America in the center. That's where I want to get to. Take the high ground. Run my cavalry forward to respond to the Mounted Tribal Auxiliary. Garcia, go wide. I mean, if they let us get to where we need to get to, my cavalry don't really need, don't need to run. Because they'll be right with being picked off by my long rifleman. My artillery is just slamming home in the centre here. Some hidden musket men. These poor auxiliary men were the first in the line. Didn't even get to fire off their bows once. So much artillery damage. Bring a detachment of infantry across. Skirmishes are just eating up the mounted tribal auxiliary. Push the flank. Artillery is just gonna. So much damage. Trying to outflank this colonial militia unit. There we go. We've abandoned the position. Four of their forces just retreating. The long rope might have an excellent field of fire up here.
Reload. Now the colonial militia want to advance, push forward, secure the ground. You send in the Hessian line against the colonial militia. God, this is a rout. Artillery is just going to cease fire. There is no need. Long riflemen have an exceptional field of fire, but let's just keep moving them up anyway. Field Marshal involved. Hessian line and bayonet charge the militia. That militia is not going to stand long against Cuirassier and proper line. As a result, Cuirassier are now going to focus on engaging the general. I say, Jenkins, things aren't going all too well. Good God, a colonial! <laughs> okay. Get him. Excellent. Another bayonet charge against the militia here. Awfully bad luck. Okay, my Field Marshal of America. Start going up some of these chaps as well. We haven't killed their general yet. The general lives. There he is. Oh, there we go. He's turning and fighting like a brave man. Excellent. Right, time to kill and destroy. Kill that last guy. Okay, right. Crush, kill, destroy. Annihilate them. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How goes my field marshal is doing okay? I don't think they're going to get a second chevron out of this though. Should help the pathfinding on these fellows. And it's everybody against this unit of colonial militia but now there's loads of cavalry my my cavalry pathfinding will get a lot better there we go nice slaughter absolute carnage pushed back onto the peninsula hey. where we will Whoa. advance or well, actually potentially edgar bevins can deal with them but no it. let's not go mad Now we can start to upgrade some of the infrastructure in this region. Good. Because right now we didn't want to upgrade roads. We did yes. not want to expedite British manoeuvre in this region. Anthony Wayne. Natural causes? I don't believe that for a minute. Fleet arrives, fleet arrives. Lots of good building work being done. Okay. Well, yeah, you you need to recruit a ship of some description. Okay, 
think. If I move Militia to here... That means down the line I can move this light galley down to Cert. Any orders? Ready. So you're still on the move. Okay, let's hit enter. Reinforcements to the Black Hills. Taking cover. Spain is on the march. There's a Royal Navy. Do, do I want to intercept? I don't think I do. Yeah, the Royal Navy are sending invasion forces. So we found the one to the north, although I don't know if we'll have the strength to destroy it. We've got an awful, we've got an awful, awful, awful lot of things we need to do with our cash. We need navies in America, armies in America, navies and armies in Europe. And we haven't even thought about India yet. Haven't even thought about it. But we will. Oh boy, we will. We will make our landings before we destroy the British. But like, I would like that to be us taking their territory and leaving them Stockholm. Then let Britain be Britain in the Baltic. And do whatever they like. Against Sweden, against Russia, against whoever. That's them. They can have fun. Meanwhile, everyone else gets to carry on doing world conquery things. Okay. Trait gained. Humphrey Sloper, a happy drinker. Good. Because, Humphrey, for your army. your army is ready. Put to sea. Take ready. Okay, so they've taken an army away. That leaves us open to attack Punda. Got a Riley Whitfield get into Guadeloupe. So that invasion arm, invasion force is up here. Are they coming up to help out their comrades? Potentially. You know, I'm kind of inclined to let them do it. So I want to see where they go. Hey, so it is possible to get over here. I mean, there's no reason... <laughs> huh. There's no reason to get over here. Because there's no ports. And no ports develop on the Pacific coast. Fun, though. Okay. So I think you're going to have to now go to... Go this way. I always wondered. Yeah, so if you go east from the West Indies Trade Theatre. Yeah, cool. East from the East Indies Trade Theatre, I should say. Okay, you can't afford to sit here being passive anymore. You get a unit of buccaneers, and then, well, ultimately, we will attack these, these forces and destroy them. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see where these fellows go because it looks like they're going to land up here. Which if they do, that's fine. Especially if it means we can sneak in and attack some of their other territories. Okay, let's drop a port upgrade. Let's... And then let's go after Punda. Because that's another... I mean, it's a military governor's barracks, so that's part of the reason why they were able to build a more interesting army with light cavalry and artillery rather than just militia and um, other native troops because they had these military governor's barracks. And it's the same in Jamaica. Um, if we can knock out Jamaica as well, that's all of their production in the continent gone. All of their military production in the continent. Actually, no, it will be all of their production. They have no holdings. 24 pounders. Sit up here on the higher ground. 
keep bombarding. Okay, let's... Do something like this. Keep the bulk of my troops away from the town. My Republican Guard and a unit of infantry will advance through it and clear it. Provincial scouts will stay wide with the Legion, as will all of my cavalry. Guard push up, but line push up. There we go, they're coming in. Yeah, they've hit the provincial scouts, but we've got plenty of cavalry nearby to respond to such a maneuver. light infantry out of the way darker shot inbound we pushed away their cavalry infantry advance and get overwatch of the enemy artillery push our infantry up in the town Yep, they're coming back. Cavalry have been defeated. Line infantry get into position. Cavalry run away. Light infantry and legion advance. Dropping the square. Something like this. Get my dragoons to intercept the light cavalry before they get in. There we go, their cavalry is defeated on the right. Form our line. Pursue that light cavalry. Excellent. There we go. The enemy is in full retreat. You men need to push up to the crest of the hill. The 19th light horse are all that remains against us. We don't need to push forward and take the ground. We already have the high ground. How this is just bombard the concentration of troops. You see, they did come back. How it is focus on them. This is classic AI tactics. We can't hit the... You know, we don't want to fight their main line. 
Okay, cavalry form up. Ah, see, we will have to take the ground. Very well. You men push down. Actually, no, don't push down anywhere. You're going to advance through the town. Outflank that son of a beach. I have to move you guys to prevent fratricide. You men take that ground. Republican Guard and infantry advance through the town towards the new enemy concentration. It's the 33rd Regiment of Foot, but not the special version. Go on, you men, you're gonna burn in charge the 30th Regiment of Foot. We'll see who takes their glory from this field. 44th Regiment of Foot are just gonna storm straight in. The Republican Guard, 46th Regiment. Into the breach, man! Not into the breach. No, nope, no. Nope. 33rd have been annihilated. And everybody, storm on into the 20th Regiment of Foot. West India Company Infantry. Charge! In position ready to repel the charge, but it's not enough. Pursue them! Drive them from the field! Ah, they're shattered now. Excellent! So we're going to get rid of the governor's barracks and instead replace it with a civilian administration building. We can get rid of the College of Divinity, we can repair the sugar plantation. Excellent. And we'll build fortifications as well, why the hell not? And then repair the port and then upgrade, make sure the roads are being upgraded. Awesome! Then when this force is ready, they'll go on towards Jamaica. And then here at Nassau. Engage the British. I mean, actually, they're pretty knackered. That might just be an audit result. Undefeated, sir. Your orders? Yeah. Proud and victorious, sir. Excellent, excellent. Go back to Nassau, pick up the Buccaneers, and then we will upgrade this to a sugar warehouse. Roads are going, are being upgraded, which is super. Um, over here in Yankton, which we forgot about. Get some stuff upgraded. Can't do metalled roads yet. Osbert McDowell. I mean, you're getting your artillery reinforcements on there on the way. No, mercenaries, sorry, are on the way. Soon they'll be 100% Protestant. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's check for my... Uh, my Protestant missionary. You're still converting. It was just the one. Just Sylvester Newton. Because he will need to go south towards Lower Louisiana and begin converting. Although we can't really do that. Not while they're here. So maybe we might start converting either Santa Fe or Texas. Okay, let's start bolstering this force. Let's take our, our fourth rates, sail them 
back up to Sandy Bay. Ships orders, Captain. We really want to get. I want to give them some first-rate ships of the line, which don't have down here. But you do have six ships of the line. So one, two, three, four, five, six. To be fair though, Keith Nelson, you may... No, not you. You may go to Casablanca. Can't recruit a new general, but we can recruit a unit of militia to occupy Sandy Bay. And we need a new general or a new admiral. Um, we can't get one yet. Done that. Done our recruitment. We've taken Girasau. Awesome. Let's hit N10. Let's see where the British drop their invasion force. Uh, nope. Landing it off of Newfoundland. We won the second one, and there's a third one. Ooh, also off Newfoundland. Oh, they want Newfoundland, all right. They can take it in the meantime. They can take it in the meantime. And then the armies in the north. They can deploy to Newfoundland. Destroy the garrison. And then attack uh, Britain itself. However, I'm pretty happy with our progress right now. Destroyed a good, couple of good fleets. A couple of good armies. I mean the Ottomans are going to get very upset. When we eventually declare war on them. But still. That'll be. When that comes along that'll be fine. We dominate one of the continents. We've got a foothold in another. We should be fine. Especially with the, the Ottomans. The only way they can break out. And we not be able to stop them. Is through the uh, Persian Gulf. Other than that, they'll be trapped in the Mediterranean Sea. Until we get the naval forces to dominate that sea as well. Which might take some time to build up, but build up we will. And they will soon either join us or sink to the bottom of the sea. Uh, Russia's not really doing much as far as I can tell. They're kind of sticking within their traditional areas. Other than that. There is no large war in Europe. You know, there is no. There appears to not be a risk of Austria dominating the continent in a way that the human player can dominate a continent. Okay. Trade we raided. Heavy frigate and a couple of second rates. The town emerges in Michigan Territory. Here, have a craft workshop. Excellent. Here come new road upgrades. They've landed two forces off the coast of Plaisance. With they've put quite a lot of naval assets involved in that as well. There is another army, another navy rather. Can't do a huge amount about it. Let's get a rocket troop. Here in New York. I mean, I'll upgrade it. I'll upgrade these buildings just to see if it works, but it, I appear to not be able to upgrade to um, research to, to recruit the new units for some reason. Yeah, just the Legion. Okay, let's do Long Riflemen, Scouts, One Republican Guard, 
two marines, a grenadier. Something like that. Excellent. Trade fleet is here to take the take the place of our battle fleet. Excellent. We're adding a lot of spices onto the market. We've recruited our admiral first rates. We've got to be careful, really, with those British fleets around. They could feel empowered to attack us. So I think that's three more ships there for you. Leslie Ross Butler. Sebastian Hooker. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Something like that, I think. Although, to be fair, I should really only build up one fleet at a time. Because I've not got the money yet to stand up fleets as fast as I would like. It's Henry Dayton, get back to Nassau. And replenish you. Build a magistrate, craft workshop. Sugar warehouse. We can't upgrade the port. Road upgrades are ongoing. At the ready. I mean, we're going to auto resolve this action here. None shall defeat us. Immediately. Ernst Southerns. Replenish. And then here in Agvictuk. Got a couple of sloops. Let's transport these armies south. Five thousand two hundred. Can't recruit an admiral's flagship, but I can recruit a heavy first-rate ship of the line. Soon we'll move on to Jamaica. Put a militia unit into Barbados because we can use Barbados to as a port for repairing shipping. This sloop. Have a look at Port Royal. See what they've got. Nothing. They've taken they've taken all of their armies from the Caribbean and sailed them up to Newfoundland. Interesting. Two more turns to a steam engine. New Haven is researching. Carronades, that's fine. Okay, right. S straight swap, no. They want an alliance, they want the Northwest Territories, and they're going to give me steam pump land drainage, no. Gibraltar and the Windward Islands, no. <laughs> Let's see how much damage my two militia can do. Colbert Cornwallis. Yeah. Withdraw. Okay, they're starting to scatter now. I think they're going to try and make the landward crossing over to Agvictuk. Yeah, what the hell? Yes, we sank one. We sank one of the ships, whatever it was. I think their plan is to go over, go over land. So it appears we are not done with the northeast just yet. We will be soon, though. Soon. Well, like I said, once we get a steam engine, then we'll really start cooking because all of our industry will start to transition to steam powered industry, then the Industrial Revolution is on.
and we'll prioritize America first to make sure we get our stuff upgraded because we have lots and lots of industry in America and especially I think sugar plantations are the only ones that directly benefit from steam engine technology to support the extraction and refinement processes in a way that cotton and even though cotton kind of should no weaver's mills I'm sorry cotton as a, from a plantation doesn't benefit but obviously the weaving industry does that's the difference I suppose you don't really need to use you can't really <laughs> well at this in this time in this time of the the game is set there is no incentive to have steam powered methods to produce cotton because right now people are quite content to uh, have slaves do it at the minute Okay, you men push out to get ready to meet Graham Stringer. Because I think you can cross here. Lots of good fleets. That if, if I'd like to take advantage of them. Trade route raided. More trade routes raided. wasn't really a fleet it was a it was a little uh, it was a single ship Yankton Osborne McDowell March. well they really don't like us but this agent they're now 100% Protestant so I'm a Protestant missionary let's get down to New Mexico We got the those upgrades. Grand Opera House. Good. Okay. Commercial port. I just need some more heavy ships because I want to engage that force that's hiding out here. Send a detachment to go mop up this lone fifth rate. She'll just auto resolve it. Oh wow, we actually. Oh, bad idea. Should have fought it manually. Oh well. Ready and waiting. Okay, let's recruit some firsts down the south as well. Then we can take. I mean, this is this mostly well, it's trade fleets that sat in here. Can you leave Punda? You can. Get the sloop Grampus out. Excellent. Attack Port Royal. We're definitely going to make that happen. Yeah, they're all heading eastward towards Agwiktuk. Can't recruit any more Hessian line because you've got them maxed out. Recruit some reinforcements because we're in for a couple of interesting battles here, I think. Some good defensive engagements. You just. Okay. <laughs> You've just gone. Right. So you sailed there and then popped out here. So you need to go here. I effectively need to send you to the East Indies again. There you go, our armies are growing. Cool, what I think I'm going to do is, looking at the timer, end the episode with the attack on Port Royal. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time as we uh, attack the last British holding in the Caribbean. Cheers, everyone.